Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell Podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course, and we are pleased to be joined by Carson Hosevar, of course, who drives the number 42 Chevrolet for Nice Motorsports in the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series. How's it going? Good, Casey. How are you? I'm doing well. Um, last few races for you uh, have been pretty good, but obviously, you know, finishing second's great, but I, you've come so close to wins and just haven't got, got the chance to do it. What has it been like these past few weeks with these races? Uh, I mean, it's a bit of everything. Uh, it's it's good to to run good. It feels good to have speed and have shots at wins. You know, it's it's there's a lot worse of days than running second. Um, but it's a combination of being all that close and just thinking about the little things that you could have done better little things here and there throughout the day that could have just went just a little bit more right. And it would have changed the whole day and would have let us, uh, you know, kind of have that celebratory uh, victory that we're all looking forward to that we've come close to three times total uh, and the 42 team, but twice just right in a row. Yeah. Uh, You know, uh, how, uh, let me ask you this. How do you handle like, coming so close but having it snatched away from you i don't i don't know i don't know the answer to that uh a lot of frustration probably a few swear words that aren't keyed up uh Mm -hmm. you know probably some emotions that wear off by the time you take the helmet off and you roll down pit road after the pace after the coast slap it sort of wears off and then you get out of the truck and then I, I just do the, the whole, just stare at the guy doing donuts and feel bad for myself for a minute. And then, you know, I kind of get out, out and kind of laugh it off. And, um, you know, everybody comes and tells you your day's coming, day's coming, day's coming. You, you, you never know. You, you never know when your last day is. So, uh, I hate hearing that. I hate hearing that, um, uh, phrase so hopefully i don't gotta hear it um after this weekend yeah um you know we're going to kansas this week i I don't know if this this is like nostalgia but um you know three years ago at this time nice motorsports i believe got their first win awkwardly enough it was at kansas um you know you know the you know and also your crew chief phil gold was the crew chief at the time when all that was happening um going I mean, to add to it they uh they had a fallen police officer that they're honoring on the truck and our truck this weekend has uh captain colin byron i believe i i i'm still learning uh so i feel horrible if i messed up his last name but i'm still learning the story about him um but we have the flint department police department on the hood of the truck as well as uh, a lot of fallen police officers on the back of the truck. Um, so it, it kind of adds to that week being police week. And three years ago, they had a police officer that had passed away that same time. Yeah, for sure. Um, going into Kansas this weekend, what's it like? It's the only track that you're going to go to twice on the season, if I'm not mistaken. Um What's that going to be like knowing that you are going to be coming back there later in the year? I don't, I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of tracks I wish we were going back to twice and it all depends how good we run. Yeah. We, we run really good. Hopefully we go back. I'm going to be glad we go back. If we are terrible and we struggle, I'm going to wish we weren't going back, but uh, yeah, I, I don't, I don't know. You, you never know. I, I, I just, I don't try, I try not to prepare that much for races, uh, to be honest. Everybody, you know, going into it knows what they got, knows what this and that. I just go into it blind, or at least that's what I try to do, which probably goes away from, you know, Josh Wise would tell me and Josh Wise's program, right? But I, I, I think, too, like he understands that you, you, you prepare yourself a few days ahead and then you know, I just kind of go blank. I don't think about it. I try not to. And I just try not to over prepare and overthink myself. And I just try to have as good a time and use it as a party most of the time and just try and make sure everybody's laughing and use it as an open night comedy show. 
uh, for my crew as the audience. And if we're all having a good time, we'll have a good week. That's actually a really good strategy, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, has that worked? That's worked so far. I mean, it's, it's, it, it's worked the last two weeks. I, I'm bringing my pit bike to Kansas. I'm probably going to do wheelies in the uh, campground and try and show off a bit. My girlfriend's not coming, so I can't show off too much. But if she was there, I'd definitely try and do more wheelies. I mean, why not? Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, who, who knows? If you're doing wheelie, remember when Morgan Shepard did those, was on pit road doing the roller skate thing? Yeah, they wouldn't let me down pit road. I wanted to bring it for Pastrana, and I thought it'd be cool, like, for intros, is like I wheelied on the stage, or at least brought the pit bike out, and I thought it'd be cool. Like, I put a 199 on it, and they wouldn't let me do it. So, but at Kansas, we literally have tech at four, and then we have nothing, nothing till tomorrow. So I'm like, all right, if we're all going to be at the campground, I'm going to go ride around and go see people and go screw around all day. Nice. Um, so what, I mean, what's the best thing to go to in camp? What, what's on your, like, besides meeting a bunch of campers, what else are you going to go? Are you going to go try some barbecue? Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I forget how far away the racetrack from the racetrack is Luther's barbecue, which Al Nice owns the building too. It's a little confusing for me. Um, I'm not very smart and good at remembering things, but I think he owns the building and Luther's, uh, or leases it or whatever, but, uh, they catered for us as well as sponsored my truck last year. So I'm going to be sure to at least go over and say hi. And, uh, you, you know, I, I, I'm pretty sure Al's coming. Uh, so I'll be sure to probably go eat dinner with Al and uh, try to go find some good barbecue. Yeah, there's always good stuff in Kansas. So. Um, also, you're going to be uh, you're going to be up in Berlin uh, this summer, right? You got some there's some big events up there. I mean, if you're not, Jeff Striegel is going to find you. Yeah, no, I'll be there. I'll be there for sure. Um, I don't know if I'm doing another local race to prepare. I honestly don't really want to in a sense that um, I, I'd much rather just go test um, and, and, and like test for the day rather than race, which is total opposite as a racer. But um, there's just not much practice. So if um, my time's kind of limited right now, so I'd much rather go test for a day or two. But uh, really looking forward to Money in the Bank, the 251. I wanted to do the ARCA race there, honestly, but it, the car counts are kind of low. And but um, and also, I think you're kind of busy that night too. Yeah, I think I'm I'm racing that night. But I was going to. You were in Knoxville that weekend. Yeah, I was I was wishing I could do it. Like if I was going to do an ARCA race, I would I kind of want to do that one just um, just because I got some obviously a lot of families, supporters there, sponsors. And I'm, I'm sure Berlin would throw a, throw a tire set or two. Maybe Evan Shotko should do a, maybe, I know Evan Shotko is talking about doing the, the arc race and I think I pronounced his name right, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh, speaking of him, um, he's part of the, the Kowiki driver development program. Obviously he's from, you're from the West side of the state as well as he is. What's it like to have someone like that in there? Oh, I mean, it's pretty cool, right? Like it's gotta be big for, himself and his family i don't honestly know what the quickie deal all entails i haven't really looked at it but i know Phil, like phil's kid i know phil's kid was trying to get in it um and i actually did his uh reference letter um but he was too young yet so but uh i, I know they do a lot for short track teams mm -hmm. short track programs so to have another driver out of west michigan and berlin uh it, it means it's pretty big yeah um are you are, are are you a sports fan at any kind? Uh not really. Uh barely. Uh just more more so uh just racing. Okay. All right. Just just curious and all that. And uh also you're in that I know everyone's talked about that that eight race stretch of the, that you're currently in right now. I haven't had a chance to ask about this yet, but I, I know I think I've asked you about this when we had you back on in April, but um when getting ready for that, getting you're in that stretch right now. Um, are you ready for the next seven weeks of, of racing? We've already got one down so far and about seven more to go until we get to, uh, I believe Nashville is the last one in that stretch. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing really for me to do. I mean, I don't, I've, I've raced almost every weekend of my life. So that, it, it's, it's easy for me. If I wasn't racing, I'd go to a late mall race or a, I'd go to my girlfriend's Peyton's ACT race and go spot for her or go do something or 
uh, just go to Millbridge on Saturday and go watch the Chevy guys go rip around. You know, I'd, I'd, I'd go do something. So there's, there's nothing for me to do. And, you know, hopefully our trucks are prepared and we don't get behind at all. That's that's more so the preparation. But for me, it's it's easy. I just go drive a race car. Everybody everybody says I need to focus and this and that. I I do best when I'm not focused, if that makes sense. Like I do, I do my best when I am least stressed and least worried and almost least prepared um by just going off instinct rather than just having a preconsumption of what i need to do there's actually i mean there's actually a lot of not just drivers but a lot of athletes go into the, go into that because it's like the per, like the overthinking of that i mean you, do you you know i mean past results you know bristol dirt and probably darlings is behind it all that right yeah i mean there's, there's i i've i've gone ever since halfway through the year when my confidence started to rise and uh, you know, I've kind of gone with that philosophy and it, it's, it's worked in a sense, but our trucks are faster. So it's made my job a lot easier, but uh, you know, a driver can only do so much and the trucks are, are good. So we're able to go fast, but uh, if the trucks weren't good, I wouldn't be able to go fast. I mean, that's, I, mean, I can't, I can't take a 20th place truck and go win with it. I mean, it's just not, it's not possible when you got Kyle Busch, you know, he's arguably the best driver, you know, probably minus Kyle Larson right now, but, uh, you know, Kyle Busch, one of the best race car drivers ever set in a stock car, and he's got the best equipment in the truck series, arguably, you know, you're, you're, and you got me, some Joe Schmo with a 20th place truck. I mean, it's, it's not possible. It's not, it's, it, I got to have a good truck and a good horse, um, to ride. I mean, it's, there's a reason you go to the Kentucky Derby. You don't know what the jockey's name is. Yeah, and then uh, a horse that was 80 to 1 decided to win it all. So, yeah, yeah I mean, why not? Why not? Um, all right. Well, Carson Hosevar, thank you so much for coming on um, and talking with us. Uh, good luck at Kansas this weekend. Thanks, Casey. Appreciate it.